What is up? Risk takers. What I'd like to do for this series is we are asking the question, will your country be the new risk meta settings? We're taking a look at a bunch of different nations with an eye to wonder, could they possibly be the new meta? These are the meta settings on Deutschland. Shout out to the Germans in chat. Capital Conquest on Deutschland. Auto 60, Expert Automated, don't start with any. Progressive cards balance with dice with Fog. And Blizzard on Portals Alliances are off, and I'm in the third seat. Playing's yellow. Okay. I think a mid-board cap is fine. Totally fine. Here we do see orange. Let's get a sense of where everyone's going to be. Bonjour to the German. Bonjour to the Germans in chat. That's how you say hello in German, right, Buns? Just went live on Twitch with a couple hundred of my friend hanging out. Friends hanging out with me. We see magenta. Do we see blue? We do not. Do we see red? We probably don't see white. Let's see how I can read this board. We do see red. Okay. Man, seeing five of the six caps is pretty good. I can track a lot of what's going on. One, two, three, four, and white could be just about anywhere. The Matt Master Mondays and Drake Connors was fire. Thanks, man. And we do see white. We see all of the capitals. Let's go. Okay, I like Deutschland. I actually think Deutschland is pretty cool as far as bonuses go. You have Schles Schleswig-Holstein is four, Nordo, Nordost Deutschland plus eight, Niedersachsen six, Nordheim Westfalen three, Südwest Deutschland six, Thuringen plus four, Saxon plus four, Bayern plus nine, and Baden-Württemberg plus eight. If you can hold it, and I will not be tolerating any mean comments on my pronunciations from the Germans. I know. We're trying. We are trying our best, and that's all we can do. Oh, that's right. We're missing the blue player. We don't know where blue went. Actual decent pronunciation. I tried. <laughs> it was actually good. Thank you. Are you a German, Rumpel? Looks like uh, Magenta's coming rip roaring out of the top, going for a plus six. Did I hear a do Austin there? <laughs> That's a good one. I don't mind hanging out in the middle. Bring the Hoff back. All right, what am I going to put on? I want to put on like an album so I can leave it on and we can just chill and relax. Play Caps. Okay, okay, okay. We just got a steal. We just got a steal from Blue. We just saw a steal. That's pretty crazy. Pretty wild and crazy. Um, ooh, and bots immediately. Boss can break my bono. Rampaging Ryan! <laughs> oh no! You capped on it too and lost everything. <laughs> All right. Um, listen to the new Lincoln Park single. Didn't Chester die? How is there a new Lincoln Park single? What's it called? It's called It's the Lady? No, it's not. They have a new lead singer. What's the name of the single? So I can hear it. They have a girl leads her? The emptiness machine. Cool. 
All right, let's give it a shot. Way to move on. Is that, is that a live show? Okay. Music video. How about just the song? Cool. <laughs> Pete said he doesn't listen to ASMR streams. Is this it? I look away for three seconds, they already lost their cap. Yeah, man. It's ridiculous. Well, blue takes a plus eight. That's pretty good. Being in the middle is going to be a problem if uh, blue snowballs out of the bottom. Don't break me again, but... Fuck you. What an asshole. <laughs> Sir Scrollington, hello. Okay, that's cool. This song took a minute and a half to get good. Okay, white breaks. Nice. White's not going to let him have that. That's cool. I can dig this. This song gets like a... This song gets like a higher than mediocre but not great rating for me. She doesn't believe in depression, which is very strange, being the fact that the guy she took his place killed himself. What do you mean this woman doesn't believe in depression? It's nice to finally hear the music you're vibing to. Yeah, someone in chat was like, do you hear the new Linkin Park drive? I will give that a, I will give that a listen. I give it 3.5 Lincolns. My country can never be the new meta. Maybe one day. She's a Scientologist. Well, that explains a lot. Okay. Magenta is botted. Ah, orange. that is because Orange stole their capital. Cool. Okay. So Magenta and Red have botted. All right. I know the perfect follow-up to this. You guys have heard of Hybrid Theory by Linkin Park. What have you heard of? Cybrid Theory. This is not France, this is Germany. That's right, cyber theory, baby. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is every song off of hybrid theory mashed up with Gangnam Style. <laughs> it's actually not bad. Oh my god, I need this album. It's great. <laughs> First up, Cash, you live. Have you read any Dostoevsky? No, I am not a good reader. So I have trouble with anything long and in particular anything translated. 
Dostoevsky would be very inaccessible to me. I like to listen, and I like nonfiction. So the, the odds of me ever having the time, being willing to spend the time on Dostoevsky are quite low. But I understand he's very, very talented for people who do like fiction. Wait, the slaps. Yeah, I know. I'll put this on at a road trip and confuse my wife. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Going good, Lagrange. How are you? Okay, well, we're not going to have a problem with blue snowballing out of the bottom, but we might have a problem with orange snowballing out of the top. <laughs> I looked up the translation. Apparently, this guy likes his coffee. Who, Sai? It's another tournament game? No, this is just a funsies. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm not breaking Orange's bonus. Orange has the penis shaped bonus, folks. And don't tell me it doesn't look like a penis. Okay, so we're going to have a problem with uh, orange by the looks of things. Ooh, blue lost both of his capitals? What? You should totally break orange. <laughs> no, I want to see what happens. I want orange to eat the whole map. We from Germany? Thanks, Lazzy. Bun says, I remember the song came out. My primary school teacher... Friend couldn't stop the kids saying, hey, sexy lady. <laughs> it was quite the hit. All right, now we're losing blue. Yeah, well, I didn't realize that blue bought it. Okay, so. I think white has the other two caps at least. Orange can start with like 20? Oh no, orange is fine. All right. What are you playing in? What do you mean? What you talk about, rug? Whoop. Just tuned in, Turney? No. Nope. Funzie's cap game. Not sure if you're into this kind of stuff at all, but have you heard of seeing the Luke Combs Soldier Boy? Do not. Do not know what that is, no. OK. 
Okay. I wonder where red is. What the fuck? Lincoln Park saw ya. This is Lincoln Park hybrid theory mashed up with Gangnam Style. Correct. Lol. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe I'll do this for karaoke. Oh, no. Cybrid theory. Oh. Okay, so this being a three-player scenario this quickly is bad. Why didn't they hire Sai as their lead singer? I know. Seriously. Dude, I, I love that I'm in the middle between these two monsters. I'm too blind to so much of the board. I heard you say one day you're not political, comma, real. What do you mean? Ask the question. Feel free to ask me anything, buddy. I'm a very, very open person when we chat on the show. Are you not political? No, I'm not. I have no political affiliation. I reject the idea that I am forced to have one. Okay, Yellow's going to take a huge bonus. Nordo Deutschland. Okay. Figure we see blue and red die soon. I also figure white has the bottom. I, For whatever reason, I think orange is a homie. Let's see if I'm right. Do you vote? So the question of voting is, I would vote um, if I thought my choice was meaningful. And I don't really. So I'm a Canadian. Right, I'm not talking about the uh, the American situation. So, Abdu TRB, that in itself is a political stance. That's why I believe nobody can be not political. Yeah, I've heard this said. Right, so I'm I'm a philosopher. Right, so the the way that question is framed is: Are you political or non-political? And then you say I'm non-political, and then the other person says that's impossible. That kind of ends the conversation with me. It's like. Here's this game we play. You have no choice but to play it. You also can't win, right? Because you can't choose anything that matters to you that actually makes your life better or worse. So I reject the idea that I'm forced to play a game that I can't win. That's the, the long and the short of it. Um, Kreskin says, what do you think about the Pericles quote? Just because you do not take an interest in politics doesn't mean politics won't take an interest in you. Well, I'm interested in politics. <laughs> I'm just not interested in the, in it on the level that most people are right. So most people see politics as the political spectrum, right? And you fit on some position between the the left or the right, and maybe it's the political horseshoe, right? Because it seems that at the end of each of the political spectrum, the right and the left both do incredibly restrictive authoritarian bullshit. Um, what I am saying is, instead of using the metaphor of a spectrum, uh, what's the th what would the third dimension of that be? And the third dimension of that would be um, a top-down or a bottoms-up systems-level analysis of the structure so that's where I like to talk about politics. 
I would like to talk about the specific way in which we are enslaved by the system and the steps we might go about freeing ourselves from that. And most often, I see people are unwilling or unable to engage with me on that level. So that's how I answer your question, Abdu. I would love to talk about the structural constraints free from the enforced binary of the political spectrum. But it's very rare that I meet someone intelligent enough to have that conversation with. Have you seen the political compass quadrants? You're too smart for me. I don't even know what's been said. <laughs> don't worry, that banger. Just do what's right for you and your family, man. It's, it's, it doesn't have to be needlessly complex. Do the thing that you think is right for you and your family. I'm not here to judge other people. I'm not here to tell you what to do with your fucking lives. Not interested. I just wanted to kill the bots. Why won't you guys let me kill the bots? <laughs> Take the cap. Nah, I'm not. So I'm in a situation where I have two human opponents. Both of them have multiple caps. I only have one. And my cap's in the middle. I want the strong middle cap for here. For sure. I want the strong middle cap because I need these guys to hit each other. And I'm in the middle. So it'd be way better that orange takes a peek and investigates white. Okay, so white's going to kill red. Yeah. Cool. White is good and fast. So now I need to work with white to kill orange. Are ads and new things on Twitch? I've never had to watch one until now. I don't know, man. I, I don't... Uh, ads have always been on Twitch because otherwise what would the point of subbing be? But uh, I've turned off my ads to a very minimum because um, they really don't make me any money and I'd much rather you guys have a better experience. Magician says, what do you think about agency and purpose as proof for some god? Uh, proof of god always one I struggle with, but I'll hear you out. Time must have begun at the Big Bang. If it was infinite, yeah, the prime mover. What you're talking, the Big Bang happened, and it happened as a cause, yeah. The god is the prime mover. What do you think of this logic? I've, I, I studied this in philosophy. Um, the way I answer proof of god questions is, we actually don't need to waste our time discussing... Um, evidence for faith. And the reason I think that is it seems like um, it's way easier and simpler for me to say something like um, I'm comfortable and happy believing something on faith, right? I'd love to say that I have no evidence for the faith that I do have and I choose to believe it anyways. That seems like a simpler explanation for me. Why do I need proof? Right? For me, the whole, the whole faith thing is like, I believe in it because it is, um, because it is my choice to believe. Man, these guys fucking not giving me very many card options. Okay, those are the caps. All right, we understand the caps. Kreskin says, I'm not actually convinced that math points to a Big Bang because it depends on flawed model of large-scale physics. Yeah, what do you think, eh? What do you think of, um, of uh, an alternative to that, though? White breaks me because he thinks I care, but orange was going to break me anyways. You made white angry? Yeah, it was my best card. I wasn't going to hit a fucking 15, take a card. As a non-sub, thank you for limiting the ads. You're welcome, man. Those ads don't pay me shit. I want you guys to hang out. I want you guys to have as much fun as you can. 
I dislike advertising tremendously, but of course, you know, I also can't work for free. So there's always that tension between how much do I quote deserve to be paid for this work? Um, and then I never want to ask you guys for money, ideally. Um, right. Support me if you can, if you have the means, if you want to, but no pressure, right? No obligation, certainly. Um, I'm, I'm truly and overwhelmingly blessed that people would enjoy my work and sit here and listen to me. The reason I asked is because I just watched a video that says democracy is mathematically impossible. I have no idea whether you discuss politics or not. I do. Um, tell me more. Why is democracy? Why is the argument that democracy is mathematically impossible? That's super interesting. See, this is actually, you know, how many times can you listen to fucking Gango style when you just want to be like, how about we just listen to hybrid theory? It's better. It's a better album. Yeah, I don't think I need to do anything. Let's hold off and, and see what happens. Eventually, these guys will impact each other. What the hell is quantum foam? <laughs> I don't know either. What's my opinion on communism? Uh, communism is one of the most lethal uh, failed religions in history, right? That's my opinion of communism. Okay, so we're killing uh, Magenta here. We're actually going quite negative on that, and we're going to be in a three-player game. So I'm with, I'm in a lobby with two opponents, one of which is a total noob, and one of which is fast and good. The one who's fast and good has three capitals. And the one who's a noob is going to be doing noob things. The most lethal religion in existence is currency. I think that's I think that's more of a stretch though to call to call money religion. Sure, it's intersubjective. We believe in it, but I don't know that uh <laughs> I don't know that it, it 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 is a belief system. Tadpole Loop says, as a former physicist, I always find using physical arguments as proof of God funny. The cause of the man, if you can even use temporal language to interpret the concept, could have just as easily been particles colliding in a higher dimension. Yeah. Well, I mean, physical rules break down when you discuss things that are exterior to the universe. Like the beginning of time, beginning or whatever, right? You can't use physical laws within a system to define the boundary of it, right? Currency is about mutual trust, is it not? Well, so there's, there's the way I use religion, the way I use the word religion refers to an organized system of beliefs, right? So there are, there are um, belief claims and then there are presuppositions and then there's a logical chain and there's usually um, a goal, right? So the goal of communism is... Um, you know, for the mutual ben betterment of society. And one of the shared presuppositions of most communists would be um, equity, right? That human beings are um, best when treated equitably. And the problem with that is that it is unrealistic um, when modeled in the real world. So equity doesn't work um, when you have people who are taller or smarter or stronger or more beautiful than others. Um, now, equality, right, aspiring to the most equal um, playing field, I think is a noble goal. I think anything beyond that, right, discounts um, the very important role that merit plays as a market force uh, in reality, you know, the French term ceteris paribus, that sounds like a Latin term. Ceteris paribus, holding other things constant, is a Latin phrase commonly translated to all else being equal. Uh, 
Uh, what you just said, Pete, is almost verbatim one of yeah. Gödel's incompleteness theorems. Yeah, I'm, I'm in good company when I when I share the same conclusions as Kurt Gödel. <laughs> that guy's fucking genius. Have you seen the video clip of the communist being asked, I want a PS5, how do I get one under communism? It was an instant classic. No, but I want to hear that. There's a new video by Veritasium that has 3 million views. It goes into details mathematically how every type of democracy leads to a dictatorship of some kind. Interesting. D is that every type tried or every type possible? Greetings from Frankfurt. Hello, Mista. It's every type possible in theory. Oh, I'd love to. I'd love to learn about that. Look, I am totally open minded to the possibility that democracy is um, impossible. Right? That we are doomed to be enslaved by something. Do you believe in the law of the excluded middle? Law of the excluded middle in logic uh, is a principle that states for every proposition, either this proposition or its negation is true. It is one of the three laws of thought along with the law of non-contradiction law of identity. However, no system of logic is built on just these laws. I think it's sometimes true, right? Certain things are true or false and certain things aren't is how I would answer this question, right? It's context dependent. How are you doing, Sandern? So I believe in the law of the excluded middle in some cases. What are the bonus on this map? Good question. Uh, Schleswig-Holstein 4, Nordo. Nordost Deutschland 8, Niedersachsen 6, Nordhorn Westphalen 3, Südwest Deutschland 6, Thuringen 4, Saxon 4, Bayern 9, and Baden Württemberg plus 8, if you can hold it. It's not a law about things, it's a law about logical propositions. Tell me more. I would choose to bet orange has honest caps. Not enough. White has some of the best bathhouses in the world. Oh, baby. Uh, Pete, please be honest, but what is a human being's purpose? I'm always honest when I answer the questions, but it might depend on... Um, your opinion, you know, it might depend on your opinion. Like, I, well, it's certainly not up to me to tell you what your purpose is. I have a feeling that I have a sense of what my purpose is. It might, you know, you might, you might matter in that question. You might actually matter a lot. Your unique perspective on the universe might be the very thing that gives a lot of the meaning to your life. Pete, please lie to me. <laughs> No, I, I think for me, my purpose is to share my perspective with the world, to show up as my best self every day, to try to leave the world a little bit better than I found it. Even that might be vanity, right? Even that might be arrogance. Hot Buns has a quiz. I did kind of bad, but I think you 100% this. All right, I'll do it. Should I do it now or should I do it at the at the end of the show? <laughs> Pete, what is the definition of a woman? That one's, that's too easy to even fucking answer. <laughs> a woman is an adult human female. <laughs> that's not a hard question. False. I can easily tell everyone what their purpose is. 
It's do whatever I say for my benefit. All right, everyone listen to Aries. Do you, No, but Buns, do you recommend I do it now or do, do you recommend I do it after the game? Sporkle. I feel useless. I don't think I have a purpose. Yeah, well, I had that sort of felt, I had that felt sense as well um, for a long time. But I got to the bottom of it. Trust me, I know what's best for you. Just surrender completely and I'll take care of you by telling you what to do. Do it once you're done answering these easy questions. Okay, yeah, chat loves giving me softballs, eh? Chef Confi says, my purpose is boiled down to, I cook for all you motherfuckers. That's fine. 35 for orange. I love when we got a strong noob in the game. Big newbie. Big newbie boy. Taco bod. That's what I'm tacoing about. Magistan says, for mobile users, I think they should reimburse any time spent during camera animations. If they are enabled, that would make it more fair. Dude, I have shouted into the void about those animations for years now. I'm shocked at the sunk cost fa fallacy associated with that terrible decision. <laughs> White's so pissed off. I was like, why aren't you addressing Orange? <laughs> Kreska says, I came to the point where I really found. Oh, yes. There are two valuable ways to spend my time. Or either to attempt to expand civilization beyond Earth. Or to bring people joy and wonder here and now. Well, which one did you which one did you end up choosing? Is there a map of Canada? Yeah, there is. We'll definitely do that one too. Thank you, Wasamata, for the twelve lot twelve months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The full year. I didn't get hired by SpaceX, so now we make people happy. Interesting. So Orange is trying to hold board. Ah, White's going to car block me such that I'm forced to hit Orange. Sure. I like it. Good play. Really good play by White. Do a Q&A? Sure. What do you got for me?
Shouldn't you go white cap? Not yet. White has three caps. I'm doing the largest cap midboard strat. <laughs> if the risk community is flogging this quiz, it's just embarrassing. Who knew? Is it? Are these all softballs for me, Bunzi, or what? Yeah, sits there. Makes sense. He's gonna get. He's gonna force me to hit orange, which I like. I need to use orange to my benefit. And so far, orange is playing nice and predictably like a noob. White must be losing his mind in frustration. I'm sorry. All right, the question is, Hey, Pete, I have the problem that I always forget where my enemies' positions or caps are when playing the meta settings. Can you please tell me what tool you use to draw the circle? It's called Screen Marker and Recorder App. Screen Marker and Recorder, it looks like this. Are we giving Orange the schmeckerino? They're both pressing. Nah, I think they're... I think this game comes to a head. Yeah, he's abandoned the cap now. Do the thing with it, Pete. No, open, no. This is fucking hilarious. Watching this guy hit the other guy. Feed me the game. White takes the hundred trade. Okay. Yeah, I definitely wanted uh definitely wanted to set there. I might have a cap run. Um by the way, law of the law of the excluded middle says that in logic if A is true, then not A is false. So like if it is the case that you repeat, 
then it is not the case that you're not Pete. Yeah. I mean, that's just a fundamental principle of logic. So it's not, I was asked, I was asked an opinion on something, but you know, logic isn't opinion based. Logic is either true or false. Right. Yeah, it's not an opinion thing. Yeah, so the question was was uh, posed in a way that didn't make any sense. So logic is fact. How do you define fact? I don't think fact and definition are... Uh, fact and logic are actually the same word. Um, fact is a thing that is known or proved to be true. Right. Well, that's good to know. It looks like the war between my two opponents is benefiting me massively. Information use as evidence or as part of a report news article. The truth about ev events as opposed to interpretation. Um, so logic, I think, is the underlying structure to truth, right? Logic is how you would go about determining whether or not something was a fact as opposed to a fact itself. Uh, what's up, Cell Cunder? Not everything's math, though. More than a single thing can be true sometimes. But like in Open's example, not more than one thing can be true. In Open's example, I'm either Pete or not Pete, but not, I can't, there is no third option, right? And there's a lot of things like that. I love when people get this far into the game and get upset about bonuses. I know it's so dumb. You prefer Meteor or Hybrid Theory? I think it's close. Um, ah, they're both really good albums, man. Probably Hybrid Theory. Probably Hybrid Theory is my favorite. What is logically to some is not to others. Then all that is, General Bala, is a misunderstanding of the way the word logic works. Right? If you say what's logical to some is not to others, that is to not understand the definition of the word logic, right? Logic is either true or false. And if you use other words, right, to sort of invoke ambiguity, then you're not, then you're no longer speaking about logic, you're speaking about opinion. Aren't we all a little Pete? <laughs> but be both Pete and not Pete. Schrodinger's Pete. Well, orange has been contained.
Orange is slow and shitty, and white is fast and good, but they're impatient. So they've put themselves at a massive disadvantage. Random question. In regards to the ranking system for competitive, can anyone compare the tiers to something like Overwatch? Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know how Overwatch works. Ah, uh, my friend. Terribly sorry to see. Really is a cry and shame. GG, man. You really did try. I respect the effort. All right, we both have three caps. I have way more speed than this guy. <laughs> I think this is an easy 1v1 now. We beat the guy who's fast and good. GG. I'm sorry. Bonuses do matter on this. You can potentially snowball super early. That is a thing that's possible on Deutschland. Orange just realized how caps work. Good game, Orange. He's giving me the game. I don't think he knows what he's doing. I don't think he's voluntarily giving me the game. He just legitimately does not know how to play. Pete, how do you suggest they fix the ranking system? I'm struggling to see how it can ever be fair other than making the swing for each game less. That's actually how I would do it. Number one thing I would do is I would say, um, how do you fix the ranking system? Make it much, much harder to become a grandmaster, right? Make the gains much slower um, and make the losses when you're at the top much, much smaller because... Um, the current ranking system wants to encourage grinding, but 
realistically, how much is on the other cab? Realistically, it's like the word grandmaster is being completely misused. You know, grandmaster is about halfway up the, the max possible skill tree as opposed to like the very top, which it should be. So Orange is a beginner. Orange is a new player. They're playing with fucking animations on. Good game, buddy. White was good. White was just impatient. So they're probably not a grandmaster. White might be a master at best. It would shock me if they were a GM. A GM would never let that happen. That was the easiest win for me in the world. Yeah. You're fast. You're fast and good, Terry. You just need more patience. Defeating four beginners and intermediate. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination. Good games and good luck.